Hi everybody, I'm David with MediaUnlock.net and today we have a kind of a unique review for me because I don't do a lot of light stands um, as reviews. I might have only done one or two out of the hundreds of videos that I made, um, but this was a little unique situation. A company on Amazon called Each Shot uh, reached out to me and asked uh, if they sent me one of their C-stands, would I test it out and review it and give them an honest review? And I said, of course. So I did get this for free. And uh, the thing that really interests me in this C-stand versus a lot of the other ones that you'll see on Amazon um, was the fact that it actually comes in a bag. So having a light stand, C-stand, any type of stand that is portable, that, I can, that can be compacted into a bag, something like this, is, um, or a case is very important to me because I don't do a lot of studio work. And if I do, I'm renting the studio, so therefore I'm taking my equipment from my house to the studio. So I need something that makes it easy to move around. And one of the things that's really a big turn on for me right here is that I'm able to throw this into my cart, throw this into my car, and I'm able to portably move this around really easy as we did last week when we did a job fair at a local high school showing kids photography and videography as a career choice. And so we did this really cool setup and we did headshots for the kids and we got to test out the C-stand and it really worked well. So this was one of the reasons why I agreed to do this review and test out the C-stand because I love using C-stands but they're usually way too heavy, way too bulky and they're not in a bag so it just makes you got all these little parts that you're trying to move around and it, it makes it difficult for me for at least the type of work that I do. Now if you work in a studio and most all of your work is studio work then the C-stand uh, without a bag probably is you know totally fine for you but with me when it comes to portable stuff and I need my I need my equipment to be portable so this is why I was like yeah send this over let's test it out. So a few things that I was a little worried about is how well it was going to be made. One con that I do have and I'm hoping that it will hold up is that with any of these um, these light stands that I've gotten on um, on Amazon over the years, the bags are not as durable as I'd like them to be. I can feel that the zipper, I'm probably gonna have to, uh, the zipper is probably eventually gonna break on me, I feel like. Um, it's kind of flimsy feeling. And I'm probably gonna have to take it to a seamstress here in town and have them re-sew re show in a, like a stronger zipper. But again, I don't mind doing that. Uh, the, the material itself seems to be pretty durable. So hopefully we don't have to redo this, the, the zipper, but if we do, um, that's the least of my worries. So as you can see, it lays out like this. And we will go on and start taking out some of the pieces. So you have your stand right here, pretty much what the main pole goes into. Uh, it feels pretty well, it feels pretty durable. Um, I would say that it is on the light to medium weight wise, um, not heavy, which is good again um, if you're not going to be putting a ton of stuff on it, but that's what sandbags are for. Um, as uh, we have a bunch of sandbags. This did come with two sandbags, by the way. They seem like pretty decent sandbags. All the sandbags are pretty much the same on Amazon. Uh, what I highly suggest you do, take a Ziploc bag, put the Ziploc bag in the sandbag, then put all the sand in the Ziploc bag, close the Ziploc bag, then close the two zippers in the sandbag, and you won't have a problem with sand coming out of it um, like I have in the past. So that's something that I've started to do. Um, so in this pocket, we have our main pole. Now this is very, very, not okay, I would not say very, very heavy, but pretty heavy and very durable because this is the one thing that's really important that needs to be um, very durable and somewhat heavy when it comes to uh, using a C-stand. So that was one thing I was worried about. Um, like I said, this is probably light to medium heavy. This is more of a medium to heavy heavy, um, which I really, really like. And then our pole here, um, very durable pole, but very lightweight pole. So again, I really like that. They have uh, the screws uh, on each end. So um, you've got both size screws if you, want, if you do need to screw something into it. Um, you've got the larger mount screw and the thinner mount screw, which is nice. Um, I think one eighth inch and then I can't think of what the other size is. Um, so, which is really, really nice. So then in the last pocket in here. Um, they do give you three of these little clamps if you need them. Um, I did not have a use for the clamps um, yet, but I'm just going to keep them in the pocket. Uh, then you have your C-stand clamps. You get two of those. 
So as you guys can see, you got two of those right there. Uh, so one will go, and you'll see it as we've got a bunch of B-roll I'm gonna be cutting in throughout of this from the career day at the local high school. But you'll have one which will connect into the main larger mount. And the other one, you'll put the sandbag on the end and you'll clamp this. That's what I do. I put the sandbag at the end and I clamp the sandbag onto, um, onto the pole so that you get that counterbalance. So, you know, if your light's sitting on here, you want some kind of counterbalance on the other end um, so that all the weight's not being pulled from the bottom of the C-stand. And this is the part, the other really, really cool feature that I absolutely love about this. Um, this was the other big thing that when they offered to send out the C-stand, this was the other big thing that I really, really thought was awesome and it worked out really, really well at the high school. Um, and one of the reasons it did is because we were on a gym floor where they had the career day. Um, but you have wheels and these wheels work really well. So that was one of the things that I really, really wanted. Now, not in all situations where I'm gonna set up a C-stand is it going to be conducive to using wheels and you don't have to use the wheels. But if you're working, especially hardwood floor, concrete, anything that, that wheels are very easily mobile on, and these seem like they're like some kind of like uh, skateboard type material, I'm not sure, I really don't know, but it seems like it would go over some fairly bumpy uh, gravel and stuff, which I really like the, the idea of it. Um, but uh, we had to move the light stand like three different times as other people were setting up around us. So all I did is unlock these and I just, just moved the whole C stand. And, and, and like, especially on a basketball court, on a hardwood basketball court in the gym at a high school, it made this super easy to do. And I just, I really, I absolutely loved it. Um, now, one thing you do want to know is uh, make sure that you're putting the wheels on correctly because I did not at first. <laughs> and, uh, and I was trying to figure out what was going on. Um, so you want to make sure that, as you guys can see, that you put it on here like this and then you can lock it in like that. I was putting it on the opposite way and it was, it was, not, it was not having it. And I was like, why is this not working? Uh, so just make sure that you put the wheel on the correct way. Um, so the way I was putting it on was like this, where the clamp was on the outside and now you can see it's not going to work too well. So. As a whole, for $180, we'll add a link, of course, as we always do. We'll add a link down below, um, and we'll add a link right here. So it will pop out. You can click on it. You can go check it out on Amazon. Of course, anything that we sell through our links does help this channel to continue to keep growing and continue to be putting out information. So if you're in the market for a C-stand, the things I want you to look at for this one that may be a little bit nicer over some of the other ones, depending on what type of work you do, how much you need to be mobile for your job, you get a bag to put your C-stand in, okay? It's also gonna make it way easier to organize your equipment wherever you keep it at as well. Um, what I just use is a laundry hamper and pretty much all of my light stands now have bags. I've pretty much sold off all the light stands that didn't have bags and just bought light stands that do have bags. And so now they all just nicely fit inside a very basic plastic laundry hamper from Walmart. Um, so you got the bag, very, very much important. Uh, you know, the other, other thing that sometimes I wish I had is a longer version of this, but this is a very standard size uh, for, um, for C stands. So if I wanted something longer, I'm probably gonna have to spend a little bit more, get a much more higher quality, higher duty C-stand. Again, it's gonna be a lot heavier than I want because I like the size of this. So the other big thing for this is you got the bag. The weight is solid. It's gonna do most anything I need it to. I mostly just throw on a strobe, a large strobe or large Godox uh, continuous light. Uh, I think it's the Godox like 300 something continuous light. Uh, and then I throw on a modifier, like a uh, beauty dish. Um, there's a handful of different types of modifiers that I use. Um, and so like, I don't need a ton of weight as um, far as that goes. And if you have sandbags, which is gonna, you're gonna need the sandbags. So you will need to carry those around with you in most cases using a C-stand. However, not always. I mean, if you're able to angle the bar up like this, so it's connected to the pole, it's angled up, you put your light like here, it's probably gonna have enough uh, enough weight to keep the C-stand 
stable. Um, but again, having sandbags is probably your best option in most cases, even with a lot of light stands. So I always have a few, few sandbags in the car. Um, and then the last thing, so we've got bag, lightweight, and then the last thing that's just really, really, really important to me is having these wheels. And again, they all fit in the bag. But having these wheels so that I'm able to be very portable if I need to move my light, because there's a lot of times, you know, you set up a client, you're doing a headshot, um, and you realize, oh, the light needs to be here, here, I need to move the light back. And then you've got to, with all the, with all the, uh, with all the sandbags and everything on it, uh, not, not everybody can do this. Thankfully, I've kept my body in good shape. Um, you have to pick up the whole entire unit and then slowly inch it to one side or the other, or forwards or backwards as needed. Where this, unlock the, uh, unlock the, uh, the wheel and let's move it. So I think for $180, um, you know, if I wasn't in the market for a C-Stand, I don't know if I would have done this review, but I was actually in the market for another C-Stand and then all the options that this C-Stand offered, um, you know, was pretty good. And then they're offering to send it to me for free just for a review. And I was like, you know what? This is definitely something I'm gonna use unless it is just poorly made. Uh, so I said, yeah, send it out. This is awesome. So really, really, really happy with this. Again, there's gonna be a link over here. Um, and and I get just phenomenal, phenomenal C-Stand. I'm gonna use it a lot more, so we may do another review down the line on it. But my initial thoughts after having it for three weeks roughly, maybe a month now, I've used it two or three different times. Uh, my initial review is excellent product um, for the money. Again, $180. So. I think it's very reasonable. You're gonna if you get on Amazon, you start looking at C stands. The bottom bottom dollar C stands are gonna run you 110, 120, and they're not gonna be as durable or as high quality. Um, and then you're gonna get into the mid range C stands, starting about 150 to 250, and then you're gonna get into your higher range C stands, which honestly they can hit three to 400, and they don't stop till they hit a couple grand probably, um, especially for someone that has like a gaff truck and that's what they do is they go around and they gaff at uh, you know movies and stuff. I don't need anything that extensive. I just need something basic, portable, mobile, and very easily to set up. So again, guys, there'll be a link, check it out. Uh, I know I'm, I'm really excited and pushing this hard, but if you've ever thought about getting a C-Stand, this could be the first one that you get. This could be a good start. Um, because it, the, the versatility of what a C-Stand can do over a basic light stand uh, is, is really nice. Again, uh, if you don't know much about C-Stands, jump on Google, type in C-Stand, do a little bit of reading. Um, because C-Stands are just gonna be so much more versatile. They're also gonna be able to withstand or take a lot more weight. So if you're, if you're weighing down uh, your light stand with a lot of stuff, what a C-Stand, a C-Stand is gonna be able to handle a lot more weight. Again, I mean, this is solid metal. This is not hollow in the center. <laughs> this is a solid metal piece. Um, you know, I guess the only other thing, I guess, on this is that I wish it went a little bit higher. Uh, I always want my C-Stands to go higher than they, than they do. But again, that's when you're getting into that more expensive range. Um, I've had C-Stands that go like, like I want to say 30, 40 feet in the air, like really high. But those are like 800 to like $1,200, I think, for those C-stands. Um, we rented some stuff from a gaff, from a professional gaff truck here in town for a movie a long time ago that we were shooting back in college days. And, uh, and so uh, that was really nice. But that C-stand was heavy as shit. So anyways, guys, that is my review over this C-stand. Had a blast using it. Going to continue to use it quite a bit. And uh, as always, guys, if you've got any questions, leave the comments below, shoot me a message, and we'll catch you next time. Let's go.